So, this is the part where Bonaboy is actually talking about stuff. So most times artists don't want to talk about things this serious just by ranting on Twitter or somewhere. So they usually just put it in the song. So when the time comes for you to know that, you can see what they said exactly in the song. In summary, he won the Grammy, but we don't know how it happened. We don't know if it's based on his skill or quality of the album or it's based on his affiliation with DD. Bonabo was actually very close to DD around the Grammy period. Okay, so he winning the Grammy because of the connection he has with PDD. We don't know the compromise that he had to make. We don't know what happened. Felt like no one gave a shit. They criticize the things I did as an idiot kid. Now the thing about controversies like this is everyone starts reading meaning to everything. So right now probably it was just hugging Justin Bieber innocently, but now this has been interpreted as something else. Like there was something suspicious going on. You know, it's crazy. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party. So. Even LeBron James yeah, is that's involved. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you not dancing? Oh. Just then you got to go. So security, Don't if you dance. see somebody and they not dancing, <laughs> they got to go. Yeah. So the fact is, I'm not going to sit here and try to act like I'm a saint or I'm the best human being in the world. You know, I'm talking about this from a very neutral point of view. Okay, I'm not in support of anything bad. You know, I'm not in support of doing things like crazy, you know, but I can't really speak so much about this because I'm not as rich as Diddy. I'm not as powerful as Diddy. There are so many people in the history who have done similar similar things R. Kelly and all these people when you're in that point of power where people literally throw themselves on you girls boys um, I don't know how dark that phase is gonna be okay so that's why I'm not in any position to talk about things like this because I'm, I cannot relate to Didi and the power that he has in his hands because when you have that kind of power it's very easy to abuse it okay i've been around celebrities also and just the fact that they know that you want them they, they treat you some kind of way they can even call you a bitch and stuff like that it's fun for them okay because they know that you want them and they know you do anything to have their attention okay and if pdd is huge in the industry you know and knowing him or being affiliated with him can get you some kind of success in the music industry no doubt some people would not mind doing what he tells them so i'm not here to support pdd i'm not here to support anyone i'm just saying there are things you cannot talk about if you're not in that level of power the fact that Didi is able to fund his desires doesn't mean that the people who are on tv talking about it have not done worse behind camera but human beings have a way of picking on someone okay so when now it's Didi is successful and now Everyone wants to pick on him and transfer all the anger it's like their sins. I'm not trying to support PDD or whatever. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, the judge would decide if he did something wrong or if he did something right. You know, so let's just wait for what they're going to decide before we start pointing fingers because no one is innocent in this world. 